Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can record your streams or videos exactly how the pros do it. If you stream on Twitch or YouTube, you probably know about a few streamers who record their videos while they stream, but how do they keep their camera and gameplay separate while both on the same scene? Typically, when you record on OBS Studio, you are recording the current scene that you are on. But with the help of plugins, we can achieve a copy of both the gameplay and the video camera to use when we edit our video. Source Record is a plugin that allows you to record individual sources to a video format. So it is like having a record button for each source you have on your OBS and you can simply just hit the toggle button and you are recording it. I've linked in the description on where you can download Source Record. Once downloaded, run it, hit next a few times and then you should have it installed. Make sure you restart OBS if you had it running while installing the plugin. You can see I have my game scene on, which shows my camera overlay hanging over the gameplay. So if I stream to Twitch, this is what the audience sees and will be saved onto the VOD. To find the Source Record plugin, we need to access one of our sources. So let's check my Ava Media Capture Card that shows the gameplay. Right click and then Properties. If we add an effect filter, you will see the Source Record on the bottom. Let's create that and let's have a look at all the options we get. First off, untick Source Record before anything else. In record mode, you will see always, which means this source will record once the effect is toggled on. Streaming means it will record once you hit the start streaming button. Recording is similar to streaming, but if we click on the start recording button. Streaming or recording means either button pressed and virtual camera for when we start up the OBS virtual camera. I've added gameplay to the file name so I can distinguish between my camera and gameplay footage. You can also have a replay buffer enabled so if you don't want to constantly record your gameplay but only record when an epic moment happens, like this. Then you can assign a hotkey into your OBS settings and it will record the last amount of seconds for you. I'm not going to cover stream, background or different audio because I never used these before. Now we have the encoder. So you may have to play around the settings to fit your taste, but also bear in mind that if you are streaming and recording multiple sources on one machine, your system is going to take a lot of resources like my GPU hitting max, which I was using about 75% of my GPU. I found that having these settings applied to my camera by using the MVINC H264 encoder worked great with 2500 kilobits per second, medium quality and a single pass since my camera is only going to be small most of the time so you won't notice it and I'm also recording at 1440p. For the gameplay it was better to have around 8000 kilobits per second with good quality and a single pass. Now for the test. Map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Now just the fixer, Dane. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko. I'd say the quality looks great, and remember this is a 1080p YouTube video that was originally recorded in 1440p, so the quality is going to look better when it is downscaled. If you stream PC games and want to record them, I'd say it would be a good idea to have another device like a laptop to record the gameplay and camera for you, or vice versa because recording and streaming at the same time whilst playing the game will hit the performance of any GPU. Thankfully, I have a PS5. I have some more ideas of videos to make, so if you want to see more content like this, you know the drill. Like the video, comment if you have any questions or ideas, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well to get notified when I upload a video. But until then, stay awesome, stay safe, and stay breathtaking.